Stand by. I'm routing comm traffic through our mid-rim outposts. You're on a six-second delay until I resynchronize the data stream. Three, two, one. Synced and secured. Tracking systems show you're in the castle lands of Alderaan. Enjoy the view, Cypher. I hear the mountains are lovely. After the last few worlds, I'll be sure to appreciate it. It'll keep you sane. Alderaan is governed by the wealthiest noble families in the galaxy. They've feuded for centuries, and are presently engaged in a full-scale war. You're here because Imperial Intelligence believes that one of the noble houses, or a noble within one of the houses, is financing the Eagle's terror network. I thought the terrorists operated on the cheap. They do, in relative terms. But for cells that aren't self-supporting, costs add up quickly. Weapons, transportation, bribes, everything. The Empire's resources are tied up supporting House Thul's efforts to claim the throne. But intelligence does have one asset. Vector Hillis. Vector was an Imperial ambassador to the nobles, but he was later... repurposed. Now he's with the Kilix, Alderaan's native alien species. Why are you being cagey, Watcher 2? Apologies. Vector's is an unusual case, and I should explain. When Vector approached the Killix on a mission of diplomacy, they absorbed him into their collective intelligence. He's part of their hive mind. However, he continues to file activity reports, and we believe he's still loyal to the Empire, even if he's barely human anymore. A lack of humanity shouldn't compromise anyone. There are always exceptions, but we mustn't forget that they're rare. We've requisitioned Vector from the diplomatic service and given him a need-to-know overview. You'll rendezvous at these coordinates. Use him to eliminate any noble or house funding the terrorists. Watcher 2 out. Yes, this is the one, as the song schedule determined. I can't wait to see how this goes. We are Vector Hillis, Dawn Herald of the Ouroboro Nest. Pleased to make your acquaintance, Agent. It sounds like you were expecting me. We received a message concerning your mission. We were told we might serve. We trust our appearance doesn't disturb you. Our superiors in the diplomatic service find our joining disconcerting, but it was necessary. The joining allowed us to share thoughts and senses with the Nest, forge a bond between Empire and Kilix. The change is a small price. So long as it gets the job done. We appreciate your professionalism. Yes, as to your target. Imperial Intelligence provided us with a list of names, dates, and locations connected to your terrorist financier. You have an ID on the target? We can't identify the financier himself, but your information shows he's visited House Organa, House Ceres, House Pantier, and House Cortes. Cortes is a vassal of the Empire's proxy, House Thule. If you show the Cortes Baron a copy of our findings, he might close in on your foe. If I can manipulate a hut, I can handle a baron. A hut? Indeed. We must proceed to the Dance of Unlighting, but we'll remain here for the duration of your mission. We suggest you present yourself to Cortes as an ally of the Empire, show strength, and don't mention your intelligence connections. Hold your guard. In the name of Baron Payar Cortes and the Cortes Barony, I demand you state your business or face expulsion. How dare you speak to me this way? I am a Count of House Thule. House Thule? Uh, forgive me, Your Highness. It's sometimes difficult to recognize an adopted heir. I knew nothing of Thule emissaries either, Captain. I am Baroness Che Cortes, Your Highness. Forgive our inhospitality, but my husband has no time for visitors. Have we offended you in some way, my lady? Some days ago, we lost a squad of battle droids patrolling the borders of Cortes lands. That squad was our first line of defense. We believe the squad's disappearance may presage an attack, yet not one of our allies has come to our aid. That explains a great deal. You have my sympathies, Baroness. I'm not looking for sympathy. We don't know what destroyed our droids. They went silent. Until we find out, we must prepare for the worst. If you wish to make amends, send your troops to determine the fate of our patrol. Perhaps that will make my Baron smile again. We'll do everything possible to make this right. I'll leave you to Captain Perovius. I hope to see you under better circumstances. Your Highness, if your men find the droids, tell them to activate the squad's homing beacon. 
Perhaps the data logs will help us. This is Captain Provius. A pleasure to hear from you, Your Highness. I'm impressed that you conducted the search personally. We're receiving the droid's logs now. You have my thanks. No thanks are necessary. It was my privilege. I would have lost men conducting the search. You saved lives today. At any rate, these logs are... discouraging. The droid skirmish with the Killix. Blasted bugs are on Cortez lands again. I ran into a few more on my way here. Figures as much. Rumor has it that the Killick nest is growing. Probably scouting for a new home. I'll make sure the Baron knows. Those things won't build a new hive in Cortez territory. I'll tell you that. Now that I've done my part, may I see the Baron? The Baroness is offering you an invitation to the estate. You may return at your leisure. The Baron is expecting you. This way, please. Our guest has arrived, my lord. Baron Payar Cortes, Sword of the Castle Lands, I hereby present to you the Honorable Count Thule, emissary of his house. This man risked himself in the service of House Cortes, valiantly recovering our lost patrol and identifying the Killick threat. In appreciation of his noble deeds and out of respect for his accomplishments, I ask that you grant him recognition. I so grant him recognition. I am Baron Pear Cortes, good sir. Welcome to my home. Allow me to present Kaleo Janis, my loyal and trusted associate. Such an exotic young woman. How is it you come to be here? I slid out of Mama's womb and picked up a blaster. Now I'm your new friend's bodyguard. Of course, you and me could be friends too. You got a nice place here. I could stick around a while. Baron? You are an intriguing creature, I admit. Hear what he said? That was sweet. With those manners, you could be royalty. I could welcome people just like the Baroness. I hope I didn't give the wrong impression at the gates. I, I just take the security of my house very seriously. One of few things she does, along with her gardens and her act dogs. You'll make me blush, my lord. Tell me now, why do you seek my house? Is there a favor you would ask? An alliance you'd propose? I'm trying to identify a visitor to House Cortez. I know when he was here, but not his name or face. I'll gladly help. Show me what you have. The dates in your files, yes, we've had visitors at these times, but that's no surprise. I believe the guest you're looking for is Master Dendry Ale. We've hosted him and his summit on a number of occasions. Let's hear some more. Denry Ale was once Lord Denry Ale, a powerful and respected man among the vassal houses. But some years ago, he abdicated his position. He became a mediator dedicated to forging peace. Strange you should ask about him now. For several weeks, Denry Ale has been missing. Whether off on some secret negotiation or something more regrettable, no one knows. Isn't anyone trying to find him? Not that I'm aware of, one missing man in all this chaos. But it bears investigation. I'll begin looking into Ale's whereabouts through formal and informal diplomatic channels. If I can find him for you, I will. You may also wish to investigate the matter yourself. I'm sure House Thule has friends who can assist. You'll let me know if you find anything. Of course. I'll send a message immediately. In the meantime, you're welcome to stay as a guest. House Cortes prides itself on its hospitality. We'll have to dine together. You can meet the Ack Dogs. The Baron has spoken. This audience is at an end. Is it me, or are there more bugs than last time? Welcome back. Your aura reflects your attunement to the Great Song. 
Vector, good to see you again too. Our observers saw you enter the Cortes estate, the Fingerlings were listening, and heard mention of Denry Ale. We met Ale during our time as ambassador. With his wealth and talent, he could be your target. The Baron claims not to know his whereabouts. We might be able to help. Our nest has had many joiners over the years, soldiers, children, nobles. We can search their memories and see what they know of Denry Ale. Are all these people in the nest like you? As Dawn Herald and emissary to the Empire, we retain more independence. But we're all joiners. We remember Pabal Alder. When her speeder crashed, our foragers brought her to the hive. Our healers tended her. We became one. Her house, House Alder, an old house of scholars and antiquarians, granted Ale residence in honor of his work as a mediator. Ale kept records of his work in the Alder estate. If you can penetrate the estate's defenses, those records are yours. I've never seen anything quite like that. We live to serve. House Alder opposes the Empire, and the estate is always prepared for an Imperial attack, even a stealthy one. Be careful. Agent, it's good to see you. Yes, we... We apologize. The nest has been invigorated by star dancing. If you could smell the pheromones, you'd understand our restlessness. Having trouble controlling the Killix? There's nothing to be concerned about. The hive is growing, and we all benefit. We even have a gift for you. These orbs contain white membrosia, rare nectar produced by our givers. Pull back the wax and sip. You'll find it gives strength and healing. Practical but exotic. I like it. We hoped you might. In any case, how's the search for Denry Ale? Here. I located the files in House Alder. This is perplexing. It looks like Ale funded the destruction of the Dominator and the assassination of Darth Jadus. But the rest is very odd. Have you shown this to Baron Peer? I was hoping I wouldn't need to. Baron Peer may see nuances we don't. We've mentioned our difficulty with human personalities. We'll be on alert, should you need anything else. The Nest embraces our unity.